Richmond Diamonds and to non-league football, well, it, it's just breathtaking, really, isn't it? One day, this team will be a will be a league side. I've absolutely no doubts about that. Hello, how are you? And welcome to another episode of the Lower League Management Journey with me, John, a.k.a. Old Man Suda, back again with the AFC Rushton and Diamond save. And how can I put how things have been going? It's been mixed. Mixed is the best way. Um, and I'll quickly show you why. As you can see, I left you after the Dorchester game, and I've played sort of five or uh, six games. So we beat Dorchester 4-1, really good result for us, did really well. We then played Weymouth, who we've got today, funny enough, and we lost 2-0 and absolutely just didn't play well at all, really. Um, as you can see, it was a pretty even game, but we just we didn't shoot on target. Um, and, yeah, we just, we just haven't been turning up lately, really. Well, that's how it's felt. We then lost... I mean, it's just carried on. We lost 2-3 to Wildstone. They are a league above us, but still, I felt we could have got something out of this as we've been really good against teams above us. But as you can see here, 2-3, uh, we sort of tried coming back towards the end, but they had a 10-minute blip where they just absolutely hammered us. And we just fell away fell away again, um, as we have been doing quite a bit. Um, and, it, you know, then we played Strat Stratford. We'd done exactly the same again. We sort of... Played really well, come sort of half time, fall away, they get a goal. It's been sort of the same, and as you can see, some of our players is 6.1, 6.2, 6.2. Just not good enough, really. Absolutely not good enough. So we've been really, really struggling against some of these teams. We came up against St. Ives then, and we managed to knock out a draw. To be honest, I felt we should have won this. I thought we didn't play too bad, we just could not get a goal. That was our main problem, but it was, we were moving it back in the right direction. We then played Truro and beat them 2-1. Really good result for us, as you can see, and Knight and Cedric got the goals. Truro did come back quite strong, but we made, we were the ones who sort of got the goal towards the end, and I think a bit of fitness came into it, but um, we didn't play too bad overall, actually, in this one. It was, it was a weird game. I felt we should have done a bit more out of it. Um, we then played Salisbury, who are just below us in the league. And as you can see, it was a really tight game. Literally, we scored, they scored sort of job. And we were unfortunate enough that we uh, drew free all. But overall, I can't be too disheartened. It was a good result against a very good side. And it means that we are in fourth place now. As you can see, Meritifu are running away with the league a little bit now. Um, and as I said, I, I said it before, I always did think we were going to end up dropping off a little bit. Um, just because we had such a good FA Cup run and we were doing well in the other cups reasonably um, and just I didn't think you know we were meant to be battling relegation we were meant to be down here somewhere and to the fact that we're still up in the playoffs is just friggin amazing to be honest um, and I think we sort of felt maybe our position we are maybe sort of four fifth six I do think this is our sort of position I do and playoffs is target we are still going to aim for it obviously um, there's about 14, 13 games left to go and there's no reason that we shouldn't be able to really sort of kick on. We've got Weymouth who obviously beating them will help big time for us, give us a little bit of a cushion against them. Um, and we're not that far behind like likes of Farnborough and Bishop Stortford. I mean, I think Meritiff will just run away with the league now. I don't think there's any chance of catching them. But we will do our absolute best. Um... There has been a bit of action going on. Finances are looking pretty okay. We've lost a little bit of money this uh, month so far, as you can see, but we're still over the 200k, and I'm hoping that we will sort of stay there. If you look at like the projections, we're saying 71k. I think we'll be a bit above that one, to be honest. And it's looking really good, but we'll see. We've spent money as well because we're doing things like the uh, youth facilities and everything, like I explained last episode, which if you haven't gone and seen, go and watch first. Um, but the board is still really happy with us. Everything's looking really, you know, everything overall is looking really, really good. Uh, we've lost one player. Uh, Bufton's gone on a free. He decided to leave us. He wasn't getting games, unfortunately. So a goalie from last year. He's done really well, but he just wasn't good enough for us this year. Has decided to leave, and he's gone off to uh, Maltby, Maine, uh, who I'm not sure where they are. They are in the English Northern Counties League. Um, so... Um, he's obviously left us, which is a bit of a shame, really. But overall, I can understand why. It just means that we've got Paul Morrill, who's one of our youngsters, in as a sub goalie. Dan Thomas has been doing pretty well for us this season, and there's no reason to get rid of him. 
Uh, apart from that though, overall there isn't really much else to talk about. Things are going reasonably well. We've had a bit of a dip in form. I mean, you look here, we had a great start to the season. Everything was looking really good up to about probably here. And then I think games just start getting a little bit uh, too much for us. And it's been really mixed. You know, we've lost some, we've won some, we've drawn some sort of thing. We've probably lost a few more than we've actually won or anything like that. But um, some of them have been cup games overall. So it's been a really mixed sort of... A uh, couple of you know games and that sort of stuff. So hopefully we can find some winning form. If we can get back to sort of this form here towards the end of the season, absolutely brilliant. We can kick on, get playoffs, and then it's anyone's uh, guess who will win the playoffs. But we'll see how we get on, shall we? It should be absolutely fine. Um, right, and I think that is everything to talk about. I don't think there is anything else really to say. No one's injured, anything like that. Uh, Sheriff is back. Our great goal scorer he's uh he's finally back he's uh he can only play about 75 minutes that they recommend but overall he's he's doing really well as you can see he scored 30 goals this season already some of them have been obviously in uh other competitions he's had 18 in the league uh three in the fa cup three five in the fa trophy and four in non-competitive and four in the southern league cup so he's just been doing absolutely brilliant this guy does score for fun and I still do think if you're doing any lower league management, he is, and you need a striker, this guy is my absolute pick up to probably his panorama south or north, um, uh, which I believe he's in, which when we have the update, probably in February, you will see. Um, apart from that, though, there isn't much else to talk about, so we're going to get straight into the game um, and see how we get on. As you can see, someone's trying to buy Bo uh, Troke at the moment. He doesn't particularly pay for us uh, at the moment, but... So if he goes, he goes. So at the end of the day, we've got enough up front to worry about him. Um, so this is what we're going to go with anyway against Wayne. If it's going to be a really tough game, we're going to go Thomas, then McWilliams, Ward, Warren and Cooper. In fact, we're going to play on the counter as well. Hoban on the left, Cave, Harmes and Colson coming in the midfield with Cedric and Sharif up front. Overall, it's not. It's pretty much a good size. It's pretty much one of our most strongest sides. We can put out one or two players you might want to pop around but I'm pretty happy with the team we're putting out um we will quickly apply that and that looks reasonably good I mean they've got some blooming good players uh Weymouth they're, they're not a bad side I mean I remember when I remember when they were literally close to um going bust at one point uh especially uh, I'm sure there was one time they couldn't play Russian the original Russian diamonds because they couldn't put out enough players or they had to play youth teams and we beat them like 9-0 or 8-0 or something like that. Um, that's going back a few years. Uh, we're giving them the usual sort of talks here. I know a lot of you are keen to avenge what happened. We'll say that it's worked pretty well. We'll give them the defense, the passionate talk as well. Try and keep the morale up as much as possible and see. I mean, if we can get a win here, it will be fantastic. It will absolutely do us the world of good, I believe. And... We should do okay so let's see how we get on and it's gonna be a tough game but we'll see how we get on as nothing much has happened in the first few minutes Weymouth had one shot and I'm gonna go and smoke on camera I don't do that unless I'm streaming um, right 15 minutes gone and it's all a bit close we've got a corner Colton puts it in can we get there we can't is it a penalty it is it's a penalty to us uh, Tom Webb shoved Sedgwick Sheriff, it looks like he's lining up. Can he score? Come on, Sheriff, get in there. Get in there. Yes, my son. Good boy. Good boy. That's another goal for him. Faithless goal of the season for Sheriff. He scores from the spot. And it was a good penalty. Good penalty. Come on. As 20 minutes have gone, and we have got maybe another chance here. As Kay's got the ball now, he knocks it down to Hoban. Hoban then squares it to Harmes. Harmes to Kay. A to Harmes, Harmes to Cedric. Cedric tries to feed Sheriff and he does, and Sheriff with a shot, and it's pretty much an open goal. And that is 2 0. Get in there. He's back. Sheriff is back, and he's scoring for fun as usual. And that was a, a bad little goal, to be honest. That was a good goal. I mean, I don't know what the keeper was doing. He dived, looked like he dived the wrong way. But it doesn't matter. It all counts. We're 2 0 up, but we've got to be careful. We don't want to drop off. That is the big question is can we hold on and not drop off we'll make that change there uh, 31 minutes gone, gone we're going to be coming up to half time soon and everything's looking pretty good I'm going to tell them to concentrate um, just to try and make sure that they don't drop off 
and that things go well. Paul's been yellow carded as we've got two, three minutes left until half time. We've got a corner as we try and put it in. We can't. Colson to K. K with a shot and it gets rebounded. And then we get in the Sheriff again with a header and that was so close. Could have put in the scene at 3 0 at half time, which would have been fantastic. Uh, overall, though, we can't really complain as we come up to half time. Uh, shot six each, three on target, four on target for us. It's all looking a bit, I mean, they've fouled 11 times with five. Possession's a little bit less, um, but overall, we can not complain. Everyone's playing reasonably well. It's all looking pretty good. What can you say? Passionately, uh, I'm very pleased with to keep it going, lads. Everyone looks really happy. That is what we want to see. Let's see more of the same, the second half, please. As hopefully this is just a highlight as they put a long ball forward. Uh, 48 minutes gone and not much is really happening at the moment. It's been a bit of a quiet half so far. 55 minutes gone. Everyone's looking fitness wise is looking reasonably well. We'll maybe look to make a few changes so in a second uh, as they bring on a midfielder, centre, mid -center, I think it was. Uh, 80, right, we're going to make some changes. 70 minutes gone. Uh, Harmes is looking a bit tired so we'll bring on, who will we bring on? Um, we're going to have to bring Colson into the middle, I think, and Harris there, because I forgot to put Pierce on the bench. I'm an idiot. Um, what else can we do? What else can we do? Cooper's not playing particularly well, so we'll bring Jack O'Brien on for him. He's probably one of our weaker players at the moment, uh, stats-wise, rating-wise even, sorry, because he's just not doing the job for us, as I was hoping he would do. But overall, we're doing pretty well, so we've just made those two changes, and hopefully that'll see us out. Uh, we'll make a change there. Um, do we go defensive and just see the game out? We'll wait until maybe the 80th minute or something like that and just see if uh, we see the game out for a little bit longer. I'm going to tell them to tighten up and make sure as we go defensive and just try and see out the last few minutes of this game. As we're coming up to full time, 89 minutes. It's been a really quiet second half. There's been absolutely nothing going on. And is this it? Is this going to be time? Are we going to win 2 0, which would be absolutely fantastic? McWilliams with the ball now, knocks it toward, who knocks it out. And that's it. Get in there 2 0. A really good win for us. An absolutely brilliant win for us. And we are pretty much doing well. Um, what can I put? That was really special. Non guys, congratulations. Everyone looks really happy. We'll leave the match and hopefully this part won't take too long as it usually does. Um, while we're waiting, obviously, big thank you to everyone who's been watching lately, subscribing, liking, everything like that. It always means the world to me. If you are brand new to the channel, come and like, come and subscribe. Um, looking for uh, 10 likes as I do per episode at the moment. It's uh, it's going really well. People are, you know, I do mean, yeah, mean the world to me when you guys do sort of interact. So. Thank you to everyone who does that. Um, I'll tell you when we're going to come back in a minute when when this is finished lining up. It's such a big database. This is the problem. It takes a little while to go through all the teams and countries and players. I've got to look at that, actually. I might take away the foreign countries that I've got loaded. I haven't got them loaded up. I've got them as non-playable. We don't really need them, I don't feel. So we might get rid of them So I might get rid of some of them um, for the time being. But, yeah. Again, like I said, I just keep saying it. Thank you to everyone. It's absolutely amazing that you guys do involve me uh, so much and that it's just brilliant. So, again, a massive thank you to everyone. As Come on, game, hurry up. As it's just taking its time. There we go. Right, uh, regards action proves Donnell's victory. Sheriff, impressive. And... Where were we? We stay fourth, but we're on the same points now as Farnborough. And there's a little bit of a gap, it looks like. We'll go to the actual proper league, you can see here. There's a little bit of a gap for Weymouth. Uh, Salisbury won their game, it looks like. And we are still five points behind Bishop Stortford, but we've catched Farnborough up. So third place is a possibility here. And I think we're sort of really getting to a point where we can secure maybe this midfield. Um, right, so when are we going to come back? We are going to come back for... Do I come back for the Mayor Tiffith game? It's only one more game though. I might do that because it's obviously top of the league. Be a big one uh, for us. Um, yeah, we've got Farnborough as well down there, haven't we? Oh my god. Um, right, yeah, we'll come back for the Mayor Tiffith game, guys. Uh, show you the top of the league. And then, obviously, we can get down to maybe about here for another episode. And then see out the end of the season. So, as I, as I said, while we were waiting for the game to finish loading up. Massive thank you for everyone who's been watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. 
I will see you on the next one. It's been an absolute pleasure. Bye for now.